So if you're like me, you might be thinking, what am I doing back here? I thought the video was over. Well, no, 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 it, it's not over by a long shot. I got the outside done, folks, but there's a whole other section to this that needs to be done. Uh, Hold came by and told me that he'd built me an entrance to the rebel base, which now means that, well, there needs to be a base. So, uh, just to also show something off here real quick, I believe Arrow came through and did a little bit of his jiggery pokery magic, exactly doing what I was hoping to do, that someone would be able to do. We've got stormtroopers! Oh yeah, and you can also see, yes, I did indeed have the legs of this fixed. I realized this when I was doing the uh, video, uh, doing production on the first half of this video at least, that I still had some uh, work there to do there. And the, uh, the Rebels have gotten a little bit of uh, reinforcements over here. They've all seemed to have undergone some sort of anime gender change in the process, but uh, we've got some Wookiee reinforcements over here, which is pretty darn sweet. But uh, the new little uh, bit that I'm working on is actually sitting back behind here, the entrance to the rebel base, which, uh, well, as you can see, I've got a lot of space to potentially fill up here. <laughs> oh, oh boy, what have I signed on for? Uh, so I've started laying out some of the initial rooms. I want to save the center of the cavern if I can for the fly bay, even though there's not really a hole around here for the Millennium Falcon or any other ship to fly out. There probably could be something a little on the other side of this wall here, I suspect. Just because that's kind of the, the corner, the Hoth battle corners over in that area. And I think this would lend itself pretty well to an entrance there. I'll have to see how uh, everything turns out. This just drops down into an even bigger cave, which I don't really think I can come up with anything to do here. And that then drops down into uh, this area where Ben's Dragon is currently at. And just to show you a little bit of something something, he has also been on and has been doing some work here on the head, which looks really good. And I think I'm going to have to actually turn uh, clouds off here just because that's going to drive me absolutely bad. I want to leave them on for a nap, but uh, I think they're kind of in the way. But there has been apparently uh, a little AFK at the moment, thinking about something, possibly. Perhaps hibernating, who knows. And uh, he also did this little entrance. This is going to be where our plot opens, uh, hopefully, from now on. Down there is actually the way through to the original plot entrance. That goes up to here, but uh, Garden Bunny did the main hallway here, and then uh, coming along behind that was, let's see, well, the, the path down here is Garden Bunny and the main hall, and the rest of these towers, I'm trying to find the right screenshots here, uh, those are Sir Bumgards, actually. Uh, he came on and set up that tower over there, and this tower over here, and I believe this uh, whole collection here is uh, is kind of in progress right now. So lots of uh, fun stuff in progress, except for the fact that it looks like they might... I think he used uh, regular ice there, which that's going to be a problem with the lighting. But yeah, if we come over to here, I could potentially put... I see spy with my little eye, some green, and that is going to drive me insane if it's still out here. Cover it up, cover it up, cover it up, cover it up. No green, no green. No green for you. By the same token, also, don't leave the dirt edges shine, because after a while the grass dies off and they just turn into rather ugly looking dirt blocks. Case in point. But yeah, we could potentially kind of hollow out this side of the uh, of the mountain here to come up with a bit of an entrance for the Millennium Falcon and the uh, various other auxiliary craft. But yeah, I need to start working on that, so I figured what I would do... you got to run through here when you do that, because otherwise you're just going to get caught in the door. And that's going to melt the snow here, too. I was trying to make snow piles of track in. 
I'm going to start working on the, uh, the walls of the base here. This is going to be uh, quite a bit of a stretch, because I'm really not exactly... My memories of the, the few shots of the interior of the base aren't all that great. I'm not finding a lot of uh, photographic references. I can find plenty of stuff for like where the, the, uh, where the fighter bay and everything is, and like I said, that's going to be towards the center of the room. I do know I need to make something like the operations room. I think that's going to kind of be here. And maybe stretch a couple of the rooms that way. I think a lot of this is going to be kind of more movie set quality than anything else. Because uh, I really don't have much time to do anything too, uh, too incredibly detailed here. And I'm just kind of roughing out some... It's not going to be like mine shaft, but it's going to be, it's going to give you that kind of close claustrophobic feeling. I've been feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall, but tonight I'm letting it go, spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna drive. Drive a faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me. Drive a faster car. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna try Think and break me. Okay guys, so I think this is going to be enough progress for one night. It's getting kind of late and I need to actually get some sleep tonight and do some other work. Uh, actually
as you can see here, you can close the door anytime you want. Uh, as you can see here, I've got a little bit of the entrance hall set up, which kind of gives you an idea of the overall feel that I'm going for here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave these beams as is, or if I'm going to come back and kind of remove them. Kind of have a little bit more of, too much of a feel of the Minecraft mine shaft than, uh, than what's really kind of good. But I like how they're differing thicknesses, and I want to get them different uh, elevations. This will not be here. This is just to see what the uh, tunnel looks like with some of the outside uh, light filtered out. But as you can see, I have. I don't know if I can actually get my. There's our cinematic camera. Thank you. Don't know how well this is coming across because I'm getting a lot of jitteriness on my screen right now, a lot of tearing. Uh, but as you can see, I've laid out a very rough kind of hangar plan. Uh, left a little space for an X Wing. Don't know if I can actually get it built in that small of an area. But just an idea of. It's pretty obvious what I want to actually put in the hangar. Then we've got something of a little bit of a control room and a kind of curved natural cavern that's going to go to it. Though, I mean, a 90 degree curve isn't exactly natural. And I've roughed out where I want the hallways and little storage rooms to be. So it'll be a little explorable, but not overly too much. And of course, like I said, I've got a kind of... Uh, this cavern here is going to be a little on the difficult side, so I am going to have to get organic and rounding out the top of it. I don't want to just do a, a dome or, or hollow it out completely. That's where we are at the end of effectively day two of building. Uh, like I said, I'm working right now on getting episode one. I was gonna make up. It was gonna be one episode. One episode. Only one episode. And I think that may have uh, changed a little bit at this point. I may do two episodes. It depends on how long the time lapses are gonna work out. So it's kind of hard to tell. When I'm recording this, whether I'm going to be cutting and going to the next episode, or just kind of uh, cutting and uh, just moving on to the next scene. So anyways, guys, uh, from all of us here on the CCG Build server, I uh, hope you guys are enjoying what you're seeing so far. Certainly a lot of good stuff to come, and uh, I don't know if this is going to be out before we're actually done with the build competition or not, but... Let me put it this way, at this point we have, I believe, three days left to finish up our build, so it's going to be a close one.